Welcome to another podcast by Denise, your host of Denise's Dialogue. Any questions or comments about today's podcast, please email her at Denise's Dialogue at gmail.com. Welcome to Denise's Dialogue. I am here today with Morpheus, Morpheus. Black <laughs> <laughs> and Myla. Hi. Myla can be found on TikTok at Hobbs 13S. S. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. So what so, are we talking about today? What are we talking about today? We're, we're going to go with um, service worker stories service. slash nonsense. What okay. is nonsense? Today's service worker story, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. When you have a service in your house and you don't pay your bill, uh-huh. right? That's the power company. You don't pay your bill. Guess what they do? Or the cable company. No. When the power company, you don't pay your bill to the car- power company, the power company turns your power off because oh, you didn't pay yeah. your bill. You yeah. have a credit card. You don't pay your bill. What's a credit card company do? They turn the credit card off, right? Mm-hmm. So now, with the company I work for, um, you don't pay your bill. You don't pay your bill in three months, which means 90 days, 30 days in a month, 90 days. So you don't pay your bill for three months, right? Mm-hmm. Well, Which is four fingers up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's three fingers. Four, three. No. Is that three? So when, when, when you don't pay your bill for three months, which is 90 days, you call and say, oh, my service is not working. So they tell you, oh, ma'am, sir, um, for, the, for the, the non-binary people, the, the queer and GTP them, plus people, also, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm known as them. I'm known as us. No. But the thing is this. They turn your services off, right? Mm-hmm. So some people okay. So now you call in. I get the ticket, go to this house, and I get out there. Oh, the equipment's disabled. I can't get it enabled. So I call up. The, the girl goes, "Oh, this person's in soft disconnect for non-pay." Mm-hmm. Now, what they call soft disconnect is mm-hmm. when you hit 90 days, you go into soft disconnect. It means the computer turns the boxes off. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. the computer turned the boxes the, the, off, but it's not all the way off. No. Off. So when you go into hard disconnect, that's when they send a tech out there to cut your services off oh, outside. Okay. okay, so now this lady stuffs in soft disconnect. She tells me, I made my payment. They told me to pay $26. Twenty six dollars. Twenty six dollars. Expensive. Twenty six dollars. Not expensive, Marla. So she she pays her twenty six dollars. Wait, twenty six dollars for what? For her services. So therefore. Wait a minute. You haven't paid in three months. Three months. And they tell you to pay twenty six dollars. So you pay the twenty six dollars. So what you do is you go to the store, the corner store in your neighborhood if they have that. They don't have it in our neighborhood, but in some neighborhoods they have a corner store where you can go and pay your bill, right? Okay. So now you didn't pay your twenty six dollars yesterday. Today comes on, oh my service is not back on. So you call in. First thing you didn't call in now because you're mad now because you paid your twenty six dollars and the service is not back on. So now you call in, right? So the person on the phone sends me to the house. <laughs> And I'm telling this lady, listen, the $26 you paid to the store hasn't posted yet. Now she's irate. She's mad. She's angry. And you can't believe I took my money and won't turn the service back on. Now I'm sitting there looking at her like, and I wanted to say, you ain't paid your bill in 90 days and you paid $26? You ain't paid in 90 days. 90 days. You paid $26. And then you're mad because it's not back on right away. <laughs> Where in the hell was you at? Excuse the language, Myla. Where was you at 90 days ago when I told you, hey, give me. Oh, at least 60 <laughs> days ago. Where, Where were you at then? <laughs> but you know, you didn't pay $26 and then you're mad. What you getting mad for? $26. Yeah. I, I'm still you paid $26. $26. $26. You, you ain't paid me in 90 days. And now it's like the people are like, okay, the remote not working. The last time you paid me is 90 days ago. And you get out there. If your remote's not working, the box is off. Why is it off? The TV says pay your bill. <laughs> get out of my house before I wake my son up. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, but it's like, you ain't paid your bill in 90 days. Why are you calling me? You know what I mean? I don't understand. 
understand it. Dude, when, when you smoke crack, oh. <laughs> do, you, do, do you call Pookie and tell him, no, I know he ain't paid you 90 days, but this crack is bad. Yes. You know, Pookie come to the house and beat you behind if you call him, no, you ain't paid the drug like, dealer I'm, 90 I'm days. Give you a few dollars. Yeah. I want some more. Uh, yeah, there you go. So, if you ain't paid in 90 days, why are you getting angry when you pay $26 and it's not back on? That's embarrassing. I would be so embarrassed. It's highly embarrassing. Oh, my God. First you avoid me, mm. and now it's not working, and then you're mad. Now you're mad. That's some stuff you see on TV. Yeah, well, I didn't pay for the car, but the transmission broke down, and then he won't <laughs> fix it. I'm so I'm suing. Oh. Even though you ain't paid for the car. Even though you ain't paid for the car. Wow. Mm. Is that? What you think about that, my Stupid. <laughs> very much. Yeah, very. Highly re tied did. Oh, tell us another story. I got one more for you. Nice. I got one more for you. Mm-hmm. These stories are okay. hilarious. Okay, now, this one here. It's, um, I get this call. It says, box not working, <coughs> right? So that means that your TV is not working. Mm-hmm. So the standard thing we do is when we get the call, we look at it and say what needs to be done. When we're on the way, we call you and say, hey, I'll be to your house either 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 20. Normally, we're within 30 minutes of your house. Depends on how far you have to travel. But normally, you get the phone call. We're going to tell you either we're 30 minutes away. We're 20 minutes away, we're 15 minutes away, we're 10 minutes away, or, hey, I'm just finished up a job right around the corner, right? So this particular lady, I call her up. She don't answer her phone. And now I'm mad because I'm like, every time I work that area, nobody's never home. So I get to the house, knocking on the door. <laughs> well, you hear little, two little dogs in the house. Are they like chihuahuas? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, let's back up. Let's back up. I ring the doorbell. No answer. Call her back. She didn't answer her phone. So now we have something called the auto dollar who calls you. If you don't answer the auto dollar, auto dollar automatically cancels the call for you, right? Mm. Call, put it, program the auto dollar, right? Mm-hmm. She answers the phone. Auto dollar comes back. Customer says she's home waiting. I'm like, okay. Now I'm getting mad now because you saw me when I called you, and the, but when the computer called, you answer. So if you know you got somebody coming to your house, you better answer the call. <laughs> it makes me want to know what you ain't home. I'll throw a fucking brick through your window. Yes, you be home <laughs> next time. But now so let's, let's move on. Not violent. Really? Yes, you it's, are. It's just some people feel that way. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I don't think. So anyway, right. So now, ding dong, ding dong, ring the doorbell. No answer. Call the back. Uh, yeah, my brother's in the house. He probably fell asleep. The door is open to the foyer. You can go in. Okay, shining up. Open the door to the foyer. The door, the front door is cracked. Right. Now it's two dogs. No? Okay, little dogs. Sound, you know, they sound like two a chico. Two chicos. That's how they sound like two chicos in the house. Knocking, knocking, knocking. No answer. Go back outside. Call her back. Ma'am, the door is open. Your brother's not answering the phone. I mean, your brother's not answering the door. Can you call him and let him know I'm outside? Go ahead in. Ma'am, I can't just go in because if he's sleeping, I know how I will react. If I wake up and a strange person standing in my house, mm-hmm. now, what would you do? she went from zero to 100 real quick. As uh, was it, Drake said that zero to 100 real quick. She goes, I can't believe I'm talking to a grown ass man scared of a little dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, the first thing now, I'm like, Ma'am, it's not about the dog. It's about me going to the house with somebody sleeping. I need him to be alert and awake. When I can't believe I'm talking to a grown ass man who's scared of a fucking dog. Now she didn't add stuff to the conversation. That's a Karen. That's a Karen. So now, Karen. now, that's a Will now, Karen. You know me. I lost my mind for a second. Not the bad mind, the good mind, right? Because I, I she hung up on me. She hung. Remember, she hung up on me. 
this is where I lost my mind at. I'm like, let me go back and knock on the door see if I can get her brother up. That's where I lost my mind at. Because once you curse at me and you hang up on me, normally it's like the mind is, is over. I, I'm in F you mode. But no, I'm still in work mode. Like, I got to take care of this customer. I got to take care of this customer. I started walking back to the door and I turned around and I went from zero to 200 just like that. I'm like, F this. <laughs> Called up the soup. I said, listen. F this lady on uh, the driver I was at. I was like, almost like right across the street from where Mikey was with the police raid, right? F this lady, told him. I called the raid. He said, let the dispatcher know what happened. Called the dispatcher up, talking to her. I was heated. That's, that's, I've never been like that before. With doing this job, I've never been like that. But she was like, I need to let you know this call is being recorded. And I was like, I don't care if it's being recorded. Because the people listening to this phone call ain't out here. That's going to take a chance of getting shot from being in somebody's house while sleeping. So I don't care who's listening to it. Yeah. I'm not sitting in a comfy office and I'm sitting in, in my house <coughs> with an air conditioner. I don't care who's listening to it. Hold on. Hmm? Is it her son or her brother? Her brother. Her brother's in the house sleeping. So now, with that being said, what she just the question she just asked, right? I'm not going to ask you because you know me. I'm going to ask Myla. Myla, let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. How do you think I will react if I'm in the house sleep? I wake up and there's somebody <laughs> downstairs. How do you think I will react? I want to hear your honest opinion. I would think that they would get thrown out the house. Uh, and that's the nice way. That's the nice way. That's the nice way. That is the nice way. That's the mind of a child right there. Because another adult would have been like, mm, I'm getting mm, stabbed mm. by a machete. If that's the hard no, way. No, that's not the hard way. <laughs> but that's the nice way right there, what she just said. That's not how I'll react to it. Because no. you ain't getting thrown out. You get to walk out and get carried out. Yeah, catch a hot one. Catch a hot one. Catch several hot ones. Make it rain <laughs> in the house. Make it rain. And what's that raining? Don't worry, that's, that's lead raining. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but um, she said it right. That's the PC way you get thrown out. If she wasn't here, this, this conversation would be going, going another entirely different way. Yeah. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> so. Wait, I don't understand how she went from, okay, you don't want to go in the house because the guy's in the house sleep. How did she come to, you scared of the dogs? That's why you're not going in the house. I have no idea. But she didn't let me explain that I'm not going to the house while I got to sleep. She don't know. I'll take your fucking dog and I'm, excuse the language, but because Mila's here, but I will take your dog and throw it in the back of that cable van and throw it in the river. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I love animals. I got two myself. So she don't care about the fact that. Yeah, she she's not uh, thinking about her brother. And I'm like, and, and the thing is, in the area I was in, he could have been, he could have been asleep because he works nice. He could have been high. He could have been coked up. Yeah, anything. I don't know, on. but I'm not gonna take that chance because guess Some what? Strange man walking it, around the house and you just wake up and I yeah, because I guarantee you. Let's say I would say and I'm, he can be able to call the cops. Let's say I'm gonna go in, right? He wakes up. He's a, he attacks me. Now, cops get up there. Mm. They show up and they find a six and one screwdriver sticking out of his eye while I stabbed and killed him. <laughs> I'm still in the wrong. Yeah, cause she could say anything. Now on the flip side, what if she killed her brother that day and or her son, whoever it was, laying there? That's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> and got up and left, left the door cracked and said, "I know how to get out of this." You no stupid. fingerprints, did you? <laughs> why would you <laughs> but think about it. Your, uh, I, I say I'm going in and open the door. The dog's face covered with blood. When they try to lick on dude, try to get him, he did. <laughs> The cable man, she on the news. The cable man killed my brother. <laughs> no, you killed your own damn brother. Yeah. I'll be in jail 105 years old. That goddamn lady killed her brother and set me up. Nah, you <laughs> did it, buddy. You like the stabby type. Do I look like to stab somebody? No. Yes. <laughs> he don't like a stabby. He's a, a shooter. He is. You holler no, she holler yes. No. It goes to show you how your your wife knows you better than your grandkid. <laughs> but that's because you were born before me, and so was she. Okay, you, she lost. She there. knows more. But than you. no, but I guarantee you, Nevaeh will answer that question different. 
Yeah. Yeah. Because she's been around mm-hmm. for a long time. And Xavier probably would too. You know what kind of psychopath you are. I'm not a psychopath. I'm actually a calm, cool, collective person. Mm. Well, you calmed down a lot over the years, but but I'm, I'm calm and cool. I'm I'm I'm, I'm a nice I'm a nice guy. Then. I'm a nice guy. I don't go out of my way to hurt anybody. Mm. Um, I'm nice to everybody. I'm nice to everybody I meet. Yes or no? I don't know. I don't be around. Um, all your, I don't be around all your lady friends. Here we go. I'm usually around my mom, so I don't know nothing. See, but I'm nice to everybody I meet until you rub me the wrong way. And, and and the reason I say that is because I've met some highly racist people. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. Now, I, I, I got one lady. She's very, very racist, but she won't let nobody else come to her house with me. Because she thought the other guy was going to. Mm. Remember I told you about her? She was feeding and she cooked potatoes and steak for the dog. Yeah. Yeah, that lady. Yeah, she was she. And steak. Yep. She going to shout out be so lucky to have some potatoes and steak. Yeah, but she, she was buck wild because we used to have an op named name. Um, um, let's call him Jim Bacon, right? Jim Bacon. Yeah, that's, Bacon. We're going to call him Jim Bacon. Okay. And she was like, he's a fat ass. And she, <laughs> and she explained to a team, but she could call fat. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but the way she was, and she wouldn't let anybody else come to the house with me. And she was... Let me tell you how comfortable she was talking to me. She called this guy a a, um, a black gay guy. Ah. She actually used the F word for what she was describing gay. But she was comfortable with me enough to where she described him as a, a black, gay, black guy. gay guy. Yeah, but she used the F word. Wow. Yeah. But Racist. in But like I said, she don't she wouldn't let nobody come to the house afterwards with me. And she was like, people got tattoos or thugs and criminals. She and I, you I, had tattoos? I had a hoodie on. And she didn't know I had tattoos. And she went on and on and on. I'm like, you know what? Thugs and, and criminals. And, and the problem with what I do is you got to be able to change your attitude to match these people. Yeah. Because if, you if to, they're like a lot of the, um, I had a lot of Biden supporters and a lot of Trump supporters. So that's the humidifier. Um People get angry real quick with you. They don't. You don't see their political views. Yeah. So I found out for me, it's better to just politics. agree with you. Politics and religion. Yeah, I, I just agree with them. That's the best thing for me to do. Is agree with them. I can do my job and move on. They're happy thinking I'm agreeing with them. Mm-hmm. You know. Until you get back outside. <laughs> well, I, I agree with no matter what. I know enough about politics where we can talk all day, and you'll think, "Oh, he's with us." No, I'm just a guy waiting. Just a guy waiting. Yeah, waiting. What are you waiting for? We'll discuss that what another time. What would you time. do if someone called you the N word? <laughs> Nobody will do that to me. Yes, they will. No, you mm-hmm. know, you know why? Because I portray that I'm a nice guy. I also portray the fact that I'm capable of coming back to your house in the middle of the night. Anyway, <laughs> I think Please. it's. He's like thirty six percent Caucasian, so. Uh, uh, I think it's time to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, see, it's time to wrap this up because the question she's asking, she shouldn't be asking. Well, no, she can ask him. I don't have the proper way. Well, I do have the proper way to answer it, but I lack the skills to answer that properly, PC way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bring that up again on Sunday when we're sitting out in the um, Bring it up on Sunday so yeah. you can. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, let's wrap it up. Don't you agree, Mila? Mm-hmm. Wrap it up. All right. Wrap it up, Mila. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, um, at the end of the day. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>